Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to replace the center hinge for the mullion on your French door refrigerator. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, the first thing we should do is disconnect power to the refrigerator. So either pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate the electrical panel and turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuse. And once we've done that, we'll open up the left door so that we can access the center mullion and we can begin the repair. Now to change out this part, once we have the left hand door opened up, we're just going to flip that mullion over and we're going to remove this metal insert from that. So using either a very thin flat blade screwdriver or a thin putty knife, we'll go in that gap between the metal cover and the actual plastic lining. And then we'll pry that metal piece out. You'll note that there are some tabs on that plastic piece that fit into little slotted openings on that metal insert. Just want to carefully loosen that up all the way along. And do the same on the opposite side. Now that is attached by a wire through to the heater circuit. So next we'll just pull that over far enough. We don't need to disconnect that. We'll just tape it to the edge of the door. Now our next step will be to remove this styrofoam insulation. And your model may have this metallic tape on it, or it may not. In either case, it is a styrofoam insert, so you want to use some caution when you remove that. Again, we'll use a putty knife or a small thin blade screwdriver. Now, once you remove that, we'll just set that aside. Our next step will be to remove this single Phillips screw. Now we'll pivot that mullion around. Then using a thin straight blade screwdriver or a putty knife, we'll go into that gap between the cover and the interface of that mullion and just pop that cover out. Now with the center cap removed, our next step will be to remove that retaining spring from the bottom hinge and then we'll remove the caps for both the bottom and upper hinge. So taking a pair of needle nose pliers, we we'll just grasp the edge of the spring that attaches to the inner door liner or to the hinge that is attached to the inner door liner. Pull that up till it clears that hole in the hinge itself. And then let it drop out of the mullion. There is a little sleeve that fits into that spot on the mullion, so make sure that that stays intact, or if it comes out, make sure that it's attached to the spring, because we'll need it when we reinstall. Now next, we'll remove those lower and upper caps. Just take a thin blade putty knife or a thin flat blade screwdriver and we'll go into that little gap between the cover and the face of the mullion. Not right about the center of it, there is a little small tab. So if you depress that and pop that cover off and remove it. Do the same for the upper one. and remove that. Now next we'll lift that center mullion off of those hinge pins. Now there is a wire that runs up through that center hinge. And then we can just kind of let that hang there. Or if you wish, you can take that 
to the edge of the door as well. Uh, next, we'll need to remove the caps over the two screws that secure that hinge to the liner. So take a small flat blade screwdriver and just pry those gently off of the heads of the screws. Now next, we'll take out those two screws. Again, they're a number two Phillips head screw. And just lift that hinge away. We will have to slide it up onto that harness a bit. Now with the hinge out of the way, we'll next pull that harness out through the opening until we expose the connector. And just to press that locking tab, separate that connector. And then we'll pull the old hinge off of that harness. Now you will need to get up to where we have just the bare wires and we can feed it through that slot. And that will allow that connector to go through that opening. Discard the old hinge. Take our new one. Slide the connector through first. And again, we'll get to where the uninsulated portion of that wire harness will fit through that slot. Reconnect the harness connector, make sure the locking tab engages, and then carefully tuck that inside the liner. There is one tab on the edge of that center hinge that will fit inside of that opening. Make sure that hook is engaged, then line up the screw holes. We'll reinstall those mounting screws. So next we'll take that mullion. Then we'll take that mullion, line up all three hinges and allow that to drop down into place. Now you can attempt to put those caps back on these screws, but you'll probably find that they won't stay very well. The original center hinge had a raised portion where that screw hole is that kept the head of the screw off of the base of that center hinge and allowed those caps to snap down over. The replacement part does not have that raised center portion and the caps don't want to stay on there as well. So you can either glue them on or just leave them off. So next we'll put the lower and upper caps in place. Simply line that up so that the rounded portion goes in first and then the tab on the center at the front will hold it in place. And just snap that in. Make sure that the back edge of it snapped on as well. If not, just give it a little squeeze to tighten it. Do the same with the upper one. Then we'll put the center cap in place. that up so that the two tabs are facing towards the edge of that mullion. And make sure that they fit into the appropriate slots on that mullion. And then we can reinstall that retaining screw. As you're tightening that screw, just make sure that the cap stays lined up and those tabs are fitting through those openings. Now with our upper and lower caps in place and our center cap in place, we'll next replace that spring. We'll make sure that the 
portion that has a slight bend in it is the end that attaches to the lower hinge. So using a pair of needle nose pliers, we'll insert the other end into the mullion. Again, make sure that that little sleeve is in place. And then we'll just lift that spring high enough to fit it into that hole in the hinge. and then make sure it's pressed firmly down into place. Now we're ready to put the styrofoam insulation back in that mullion and the cover. So we'll just flip that mullion into its flat position. So next we'll install that styrofoam insulation. Now when reinstalling that foam, first of all use caution because it is brittle. We'll line that up so that the cutouts for the hinges are in place. We'll start at the bottom. Just press it into place. Take note where that harness is. It needs to come up high enough to come through this notch. So tuck that in behind. We can then fold that cover over. Make sure the rubber end caps fit inside of that plastic mullion. And then just press it into place, making sure that those tabs engage the slotted openings on the metal portion. So it should be flush all the way along each edge. Just check the operation, and we're ready to close up the fridge. Now with the mullion back together, we just fold it over. We can close the door up. We're now ready to reconnect the power and your repair is complete.